Griddle Master. Cooking up the good stuff. Hey, Griddle Master Joe with you today. We are going to do a informational Japanese hibachi cooking like if you go to Samurai or Benihana. We have a place called Blue Ginger right close to us that does the fried rice that cooks on the hibachi top. That's the most incredible thing about the Griddle Master Griddle Top is you could transform your barbecue into your own Japanese restaurant. And all you need is a little bit of technique. I'm going to try to cover with you. I have Mrs. Griddle Master here with us. And I have her, just so that you know, I have four cameras on. I have one right in front of me. I have one coming down so you can see the top. I have one to the left of me that can see the top. And then I have one on Mrs. Griddle Master. So if she messes up or looks funny, I'm going to go and when we're video editing and we're going to show you guys. Anyway, we're going to have a good time. This is going to be very informational. Um, I'm not promising to know anything of everything about uh, hibachi cooking, Japanese style cooking. But I do know a lot because I've been all over the country and I really enjoy eating out at the Japanese restaurants and seeing the different techniques that they do. So I'm going to try to cover some of them so that when you do it, you'll be able to know the difference and be able to do some of the things that they do and have the different styles um, of flavor. And I'm going to cover things that I like and that I don't like about what they do. So hopefully I could get this all in and not forget too much. And I have Mrs. Griddle Master here with me so that she could help remind me as well because if I've eaten there, she's eaten there. And she has her own flavors and preferences. Isn't that right, Mrs. Griddle Master? Yes. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and actually, you know, I haven't even turned the, the uh, gas on. I'm just so excited to, to get started cooking that I forgot to even think about turning the tops on. All right, so just so you know, um, this might run on a little bit, but it's because I have so much to cover for you guys. Okay, so I have eight burners. In the Japanese restaurant, they only cook in the center of their table because they only have flame right there. All this over here is just a warmer. So if you ever notice, when they put stuff on, they slide it over, but what they're cooking is dead in front of them because this is only to warm things up. All right, so I'm going to let this get hot. In fact, right now, I'm just going to let it stay. You know how I tell you low is the way to go? Well, right now, I have a burner on, a burner on, a burner on, and a burner on, and they're all on high because I didn't have it on heating up before I got started. And I'm going to put my vent on to start sucking this stuff up. So, um, one of the biggest questions asked is, you know how when they do the flame, what do they use? Okay, what do they use to do it? Well, it's a two-part thing. If you ever notice, they put oil on their top first, and then they go and they, 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 they start a fire on the side, and then they, they fling it over and whoosh. It's the collision with the vodka, it's vodka, 80 proof vodka, in with the oil that causes the big flare up. All right, so you always want to be careful dealing with fire. Um, I've never done it before until last night. I just tried it because I was like, okay, I don't want to do something wrong and I still may and I'm still gonna, I'm gonna show you guys because if you're going to do it at home, I'd rather mess up here so you could see and not do it at mess up at home and, and do it great for, for your company. Because that's the awesome thing about um, cooking Japanese style is to entertain, have people over and have a great time doing it. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is hot. I got a little bit of water. Let's see. No, oh, I want to let it get a little bit hotter.
Yes. As Mrs. Griddlemaster said, it's room temperature water, not cold water. All right. And here, uh, my number one question asked on the phone, do you have a, a drain for the grease or, you know, you go to the Japanese restaurants or you see different griddles and they have a drain for the oil? We do not and we will not. We don't want one of those. We want, we call our tops the fountain of youth for your barbecue. Nothing's dripping down causing my elements to rust and corrode. So this grill is actually well over four years old and it's still in, in all purposes perfect condition. You know, you have the weathered on the outside, but on the inside where the flame and everything, it, it's perfect. It, there's nothing wrong four and a half years, four plus years later. So we keep a bowl, a bowl next to us. And in this case, because you know so many things, we got eight shells, we got all that. I brought out the big bowl. So this is about a three gallon bowl. And so I'm going to keep this where I can fill it and then I can just dump it. And now all I got to do is take this over to the trash when I'm done cooking. And, and now I don't have a trough, uh, a little contraption to clean later on. So I just wanted to cover that. So I'm going to just put the bowl back right here next to me so I can just scoop and into the bowl. All right, I am sure our top is hot enough. I'm gonna actually go back down low now. I'm actually gonna go to medium for right now just to see how that does. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use some vegetable oil. Vegetable oil, remember they always do that. They do a little, actually, and I did it upside down, the little smiley face. And then they do vodka. And make sure you have room to get out of the way. So there's your flame. And as you can tell, it does a pretty good job. You don't need to use much if you see how much I have. So, so. If there's a flame there and then it just goes away. So after they do that, they typically take and they wipe off the top. It's like a sanitizing moment. All right. All right, so we're gonna get cooking. And we are going to start with our flipper. Need a flipper to do a lot of stuff. You're going to use a pitchfork. <laughs> so that way you can help control things. And they usually have a belt where they put their knife on their hip. And that's another question that's usually asked. Hey, Griddle Master Joe, can you cut on the Griddle Master Griddle Top? Yes, you can. It's going to dull my knife over, you know, time, but that's why you have sharpeners. All right. So we're going to start with vegetable oil. I'm going to put some around. And we're going to get our rice. Now, rice. I cooked the rice the day before, and I put it in the refrigerator. You do not want to do rice that you cook, and when it just gets done cooking, it's still hot. You want the rice to be a little dried up. And then, they do a couple of different things. I have carrots and onions that are that are diced up that we put in with our fried rice and something they don't tell you about 
is it's like a, a seasoning that has seaweed. This one has sesame seeds, seaweed, sugar, and salt in it. And this is like what you don't know. And you don't typically see. Sometimes they put it in the rice already. I like to use garlic. And I'm going to use garlic throughout the whole time. And another thing you don't know typically is they put sake, sake in the rice. Sake only has a low percentage of alcohol. And now, if you look, the rice is really breaking up where it was pretty, pretty clumpy. It already smells amazing. There's another thing that they typically will do a lot is they do the joke where they talk about the butterfly. Now I think they use cold butter where my butter is room temperature right now. So therefore it slides right off my hot flipper. Okay, so I'm going to put this off to the side for now. And this is where it really benefits to have a really big griddle top. Wouldn't you say, Mrs. Griddle Master? Yes, but when I go to, to serve it. Okay, so now we're going to do, um, get our, our mixed vegetables on. So again, start off with some vegetable oil. under there. And so what I have here for you What I have here for you is some cabbage. Um, some places do cabbage, some don't. I think pretty much they all do zucchini. If they use. And then they watch. And actually, I'm going to cut up these onions. I was playing with the onions for the volcano, and something that I learned or, or realized that's not really mentioned is you want to have a thick slice of onion to do the volcano because you, you need to, you saw how that flame really flared out and Flatted, it splatted and went big because of the vodka mixing with the oil, which causes it to, to sizzle and splat everywhere. So with the volcano, we trap all that explosion inside the onion. So you need levels that are, are fairly thick. Okay. 
All right, so I'm gonna take the vegetables and I'm gonna move them over. Actually, you know what, before I do that, I wanna put some butter in there. And garlic. Everything's getting garlic. Good for it's good for you. It tastes really good. And it makes the girls come, oh, Mrs. Grillmaster says it's good for kissing. <laughs> now we do obviously put soy sauce. Oh, and let's put a little bit of sake. Sake, S-A-K-E. They call it rice wine. Okay. All right, let's see if I could do this. Now, you see them patted down all the time? Because they want it to be flat. to turn this down even more. Well, if you need to stay. Okay. Woohoo! There we go. That's a little hole. Let's see what we got. We got a little bit of vegetable oil going in. And we got our vodka going in. And now, there we go. I don't know, it's daylight. They usually make it dark, and but I see it. Hopefully you guys are seeing it too. And then they slide it over. There we go. Talk louder. Then the other thing that they do that I've seen and if you give it a second sometimes this will if you have a good enough seal here it comes I see it it's coming, it's thinking about it. Maybe I didn't put enough in. Let's give it a second and see if it'll do it. It usually will bubble over. But I think maybe my seal isn't so great. Let me take this off to show you. Yeah, my seal wasn't wasn't great enough. But anyway. So you can see the size of the onion before Yes, so so like Mrs. Grillmaster saying, the size the size of the onion, how thick it is, is important. And just because it's a video and we have time, I'm gonna move that soy sauce over there. Let's try one more time. Actually, I'm not going to do that big of one. I'm going to do two, two rows. Well, okay. Two rows. Two more. Two more, maybe. Oh, 
okay. I put more oil that time. Uh, I see the oil. So, a little practice, again, this is only the, the actually the, the volcano is the first time you saw me ever do it, and this is the second time right here. So, and now if we slide it over, then they usually slide it over and they, and that's why your seal is very, very important. Huh? Okay, so let's knock this down and let's try just for the heck of it one more time with the soy sauce. Yeah, see the seal, it's all going underneath. Oh well. Let's cut up our onions. <laughs> All right. Get our vegetables on. This is really, really hot. I'm going to max slow again, like you always hear me saying, and, yeah, that'll be good. Mrs. Riddlebaster said it smells amazing. Okay, I'm moving my vegetables, because they're, they're there. Now they always do salt, pepper, and garlic powder, um, so I still need to put garlic on here, but I'm not going to do, I'll do pepper, but I'm not going to do salt, just because it already has enough sodium in it, and, and we'll be adding more, so I'm going to move this right, see how hot the griddle top gets, and this is what they don't do, look at that rice right there, it's crispy. I love it that way. I don't know about y'all, but I like fried rice. So, anyway, all right, we're going to do some eggs. I'm probably going to make a fool of myself, and I'll probably totally mess up, but whatever. Number one, they always make the joke, egg roll and they spin it. That's not an egg roll. I thought that's an egg roll. So, anyway, so they spin it, but I'm going to try to... Okay, so it's not too bad, and then they turn it sideways and, and break the egg. And into the bowl. No. Eagle Eye, Mrs. Griddlebaster saw a shell. Okay, so again, we don't even have to spin it. We could just catch it, and, or not. The whole idea is, is to make the thing come down so you're catching and miss. So you could practice ahead and make it look really cool, or you could just have fun with it and maybe let the your guests all try. So y'all heard Mrs. Grillmaster about 
you can have a lot of fun having your guests come up and try to do the, the flipping of the egg. I'm going to put a little oil down. Now, I like... I like to have two eggs per two cups of rice. So, I actually have probably eight cups of rice here. Oh, I just saw shell. And I have eight eggs out here, so I might as well use them. I'm right handed and I'm doing this with my left hand, so... Okay, let me wipe my hands off here. Let's... This is going, obviously, this is going in the fried rice. people that are going to comment here. Oh, Griddle Master, you suck at this. We're only having fun. And I'm not getting paid to entertain people at a Japanese restaurant. So I am having fun and enjoying this. I wanted to have a lot of people over, but you know what happened? I do this and I have to film for you all. And people are talking, and then I'm not able to get across to you all, all the things. Looks pretty good to me. I'm going to go to only two burners because I don't think I need so everything's on low so now I only have two burners here on and look even on low and this is all way over here looking good so realistically, if I had people here, I would serve them. I'd put that on their plate. All right, so I'm going to get some soy sauce on here. All right. You, again, you don't need too much because that sodium, that salt, that flavor goes a really long way. So we have our garlic, our carrots, you can put peas in here if you want. Um, Mrs. Griddle Master, a plate, so that way you can... 
I am. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you rice in a rice bowl, but you can set it there. All right. So we have rice bowls. I'm gonna do just a little bit in inside it. And what they do is they go like that, and they turn it upside down and trap it and squish it in there, go around, and then serve it. So I'm going to give one to Mrs. Riddle Man. So I have four bowls out here, so I want to practice. So I'm going to go ahead and It's hot? It's hot. Really good. Now, we'll get the yum yum sauce in the refrigerator. I'm going to take the rest of the rice. And I'm just going to put it on this plate. So if you have a really big top or, or really a, a smaller top, remember, they cook everything individually. You can still accomplish this at home. I'm doing, I'm doing enough food here for probably 10 people, just so you know. Okay. You see how I'm cleaning the top off? I'm going to get another plate. For our vegetables. I already put the soy sauce from doing the onions and playing with that. I'm just going to mix it up a little bit. Okay. Wow, this looks amazing. And for a quarter of the price. How's that look? Can you see it? How about there, like this? I think it's amazing looking. Now, I love mushrooms, and that I turned, I turned the flame off, or, or didn't go uh, with all four burners, I forgot I was going to do these mushrooms, and I would have put these on, I would have put these on probably even before the vegetables, because they're going to take a little while to to render down. It all depends on how far you like to to make your your mushrooms um, brown. How is it? Really good. Have you had any vegetables? They're probably really, 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 really hot. So I have while well, Mrs. Griddle Master's trying the the vegetables, I made. If you go to griddlemaster.com. And look, all the way at the bottom of the website, there is some items, and one says recipes. If you go there, 
I have the recipe for the white sauce. You need to make it 24 hours in advance. How's it? Yeah, thumbs up. So you want to make it 24 hours in advance so it can can set up in, in, the, uh, in the refrigerator. So I'm going to give it a nice dose of garlic in with my mushrooms just because I love garlic and Mrs. Grillmaster loves kissing <laughs> and we'll put some butter in here and mix it all up and typically again they would they would use salt pepper What I am going to put on this, just because I, I like the flavor, and, and, and you could do it on your fried rice and your vegetables if you so desire, garlic powder. Okay, so these are rendering down pretty well already. I'm going to go ahead and, and I put on a flame over here just so that these can cook down a little more and I'm going to turn this up because now we're getting ready to get into the nitty gritty, our proteins. So I'm going to, I'm going to clean this off just a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> That's why they put this in the same place at the Japanese restaurant so that they could find it. So I'm going to let the oil get just a little hot and let's see what we want to start with. I will start with, we have shrimp. We have calamari, we have scallops, we have salmon, we have chicken, and we have fillets. So I'm going to put, because the fillets are so thick, I'm going to go ahead and put the fillets on. Okay. Now. One of the things that they do that I cannot stand is they cut the steaks too fast. I want my steak to get brown on the bottom and on the other side. Even though I want it medium rare, you could still let it brown, but they that adds such another flavor to it. So I'm gonna let that I'm gonna let that brown and I'm gonna put in some more oil. Let's drop, drop our chicken in there. And our salmon. So again, if you ever see that they push things off to the side all the time, you know why they don't want it to cook fast they're just letting it warm up I'll put our scallops in here I'm gonna get overloaded if I I think I'm just gonna wait there
Okay, for me, the mushrooms are good. See how the chicken's looking. Yeah. And these are thick, thick pieces of chicken. So I'm going to turn our flame up. I'm going back up to medium so we can start browning stuff better. So in the, in the Japanese restaurant, they're it's a meat market. They're just trying to get you in and out. When you do this at home, have fun with it. Enjoy what you're doing. Take your time. If you go too fast, you're going to have dried out food. You know, have your party. We could be socializing, having a good time. As I could step back and relax as, as this is doing. So it's all about entertaining, having a good time. When I'm doing these films for you, you know, there's such pressure to to try to say what you need to hear, I'm trying to do things right, I'm trying to think of people, oh, don't touch your hair, oh, don't touch your dog. You know what? We're having fun. This is my backyard, and this is a griddle master griddle top where you can cook everything and anything you want on it. I was watching the Food Network, and I saw them doing so many incorrect things, but so what? Um, if you think that behind in the kitchen, when you go out to a restaurant, that they're nailing everything 100% all the time, you're, you're wrong. So, anyway, have a good time while you're, while you're cooking. See, and this is what I'm talking about right here. I want, I want that flavor. I want that, that brown, that sear. So it looks golden and beautiful. Look at that filet. All right. So we're going to go with some lemon juice. Now, another thing that I see that they do, they use real lemons. Well, this is real lemon juice. And the reason why I'm using that and not real lemons is because I can't tell you how many seeds I have received in my food at a Japanese restaurant. So, I'm doing the juice so I know there's no seeds. that? I did. See? Okay, so the chicken, I'm going to go ahead and cut. Because it's so thick.
Nice. Very, very nice. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of mushrooms. Some soy sauce. And just a little bit of sake. Let's toss it in that. Can I put on those plates? No, one was chicken. Get another plate from here. So there's our scallops. I believe our salmon is good to go. Let's just, again, little touch of mm, lemon juice, little sake, and a little soy sauce. Beautiful. All right, our chicken. Give it some mushrooms in there. I will love mushrooms and a little bit of garlic. And we've been to places where they give a little bit of onion with everything. I'm sorry, a little, a little bit of mushrooms with everything. Okay. Soy sauce. Just a little bit. Little garlic powder. A little bit of our seaweed. And I forgot. I didn't do the heart with the... There is so much to remember doing this. I wanted to put the... Um, The seeds, the sesame seeds, roasted sesame seeds on the rice. How's how is that? The salmon is great. The salmon, you like it? All right, let's go ahead and you know what, before I do the steak, because I know we have time on the steak, because it's so thick, I'm going to go ahead and find my vegetable oil, and let's get the, we have some calamari, and last but not least, the favorite of all, shrimp. The calamari is going to cook so fast and looks like so is the shrimp.
lemon juice, garlic powder, just a little bit of garlic on each. Little bit of soy sauce. Seeds. I'm really disappointed. I love these seeds in the fried rice. All right. Calamari doesn't take any time whatsoever. Same with the shrimp. Here you go. We're going to take this and into the bowl. There's our garbage. We just cleared it out. Okay. Take our steak. Get my handy dandy knife. Yep, these are ready. Get some butter on them. Another plate. Little soy sauce, little mushrooms. where you can wipe the edges. Yeah. All right. Okay, I see no more proteins. So, what I'm gonna do for you guys is I'm gonna clean my top real quick. Um, and then we're gonna taste the food. But I've been wanting to, it's been a long time since I've cleaned my top online uh, where you guys can see how much time it takes or doesn't take, all right? so. I have all my burners are off. Usually you have to let it cool down. But I have my top locked to my grill. 
It cannot lift, it cannot twist, it can't do anything. So I'm, I'm free to squirt as much water on this as I want. And so I take my flipper and I just scrape it. So I'm not going to edit this video clip right here. I'm going to let it run full time so you can see how much time it takes. And I use paper towels now instead of a cotton rag because Mrs. Griddle Master doesn't like putting those in the dish, in, in the clothes washer. As you can see, the top's already pretty well off. I'd rather buy a couple of rolls, several rolls, a whole big thing of paper towels and use as much as I want. You see how easy that is? One last water down. And that's as bad as the top typically will get because I've used the whole top. Now, I keep simple green with me so I could do right here. Take my bowl. That's it. That's it. Once it cools, I'll get any little loose pieces that might be there. But now I'll oil it up. I'll oil it and then I'll close it up and I'm done with the griddle top. And that's how hard or not to clean the griddle top. All right. All right. So let's give this a taste. What I'd like to do is have Mrs. Griddle Master come over. You have a, a fork and a spoon I see there. I'm gonna turn off this so we could hear. Ooh, I got a fook, a fook. I got a fook and a spoon. <laughs> so, we have chicken. Do you like? I tasted some, it was good. Well. It's still juicy and, you know, the temperature's cooled off a little because I cleaned the top, but, wow. Steak? 
some steak and mushrooms, medium rare. Wow. Did you have one? It was still warm. It's filet. It melts in your mouth. I, I like the brown of the meat. I like it being seared and, and, and have a nice um, crust on it. Okay? Ooh. Um, do a little dollop of yum yum sauce. Oh, let me show them. This comes with your large kit. When you order a griddle, master griddle top accessory kit, the large one. See, I could turn it upside down, none comes out, and and it just shuts off. Beep, bloop, bloop. Love it. You can fill it from the bottom or the top with a big opening. So these are um, very, very useful. So, calamari, do you want to try? I know you're not a calamari fan. I am, but just not without breading. I like a fry. Yeah, that's why you don't see it that often. It tastes good, but it's a little... Yeah. Okay. Shrimp. Yum yum sauce. My queen. Oof. Oh my goodness. I can't wait till the camera goes off. Because we're going to go off on that plate. Mmm. Wow. Okay. We have salmon and scallops. Let me find the biggest scallop. You see how she ain't even budging? That's just wrong. Oh. I like scallops. But you know what? She loves me. And she'll do it. Watch. Yes. Who's your daddy? It's good <laughs> though. Dude. I thought the flavor was something that you would be think was it was okay for you. You guys got to do this at home. You know how much money I spent doing this? We could do this probably th two more times. And it costs the same as what it costs for her and I to go out one time to the restaurant. Oh, she's... She already had some. She's a salmon freak. Okay. We have some vegetables. I need the fork. I'll use a fork. So we have broccoli, we have cabbage, we have carrots, we have mm -hmm. zucchini. Did I say onion already? But I'm gonna do a cabbage and a a broccoli. What do you want? Broccoli. Hmm. The broccoli is still. Sorry, it's on top of my mouthful. The broccoli still um, got a crisp to it. That's good. Mm. This is just mushrooms. I'll take a big bite of these because we all know what mushrooms help help you do. Mmm.
M. Since I forgot to put them on, She tried to put a heart on it. All right, go ahead. Oh, I did. You know that sea that seaweed really adds flavor. So anyway, come on in here, Mrs. Brewmaster. I think I'm gonna. Go so jump in the pool. If you don't mind cleaning everything up. Oh man. <laughs> so it it was a lot of fun. Um, it's hot. This was a lot of food, and it came out really, really good. And you saw, there's no messing up. You just um, the more you do it, the better you'll get. And obviously, I don't do it a lot. But I have done it enough um, with the family. I think I've, I've fed 25 people on this griddle top the, with, uh, with this type of food, with the fried rice and like the Japanese restaurants. So um, it's a great way to entertain. So if you're interested, go to griddlemaster.com. I, I like this video. Um, trying to get Mrs. Griddlemaster to do more videos. She doesn't think she's really good at it, but... Um, I enjoyed it. I thought she did a great job when she did the steak. So if you want to look back on, on, on uh, a steak that she did, she watched her, her watch. You know, I just wing it. She's more got to do it by the numbers. So hope you enjoyed it. You have anything to say there, Mrs. Griddle Master? Nope. You're looking like a sweaty Betty. Yes. We appreciate you guys watching. Like us on, on Facebook. Like us on YouTube. It'll help you see the new videos that we have coming out. We don't hound you. We don't spam you. Um, it's just there so you guys could check out what we what we have when we release it. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, enjoy your summer, and look for a new video coming soon. Griddle Master Joe, Mrs. Griddle Master.